Hellboy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just got out of Hellboy, and what can I even say? We all got pretty excited, especially for the Hellboy comic fans, whenever we found out that David Harbour was going to be Hellboy in a new uh, adaptation of Hellboy, not a direct sequel to Hellboy 2 with Ron Perlman, but a just new adaptation. The trailers really won me over, you know, on the level of like, okay, just kind of this fantasy, like, kind of gore-fest, like, high action, almost a comic page come to screen, and... I guess that's what they were trying to do. I'll tell you my history with Hellboy really quick. The original Ron Perlman film, I really, really love. I don't remember a whole lot about the second one, but I need to give it a rewatch. After watching the new one tonight, I've realized I need to revisit the Ron Perlman one. I'm not going to compare. I'm not going to try to whatever, compare each one, because they're both their own incarnations. The Ron Perlman version is this nice, like, colorful a vibrant movie with like a lot of practical effects and stuff and we knew going into this one that this one was going to be like CGI heavy and sort of like that with a little bit of practical effects in this movie that I was surprised by. But yeah, aside from that, I'm not going to compare it to the original movies. I just want to tell you guys that I the original movie is super underrated and really, really good. If you've never seen the original Hellboy, definitely give that a watch probably before you go into this one or just go into this new one and come out and watch the better one. I knew right away that the editing in this movie would really throw me off. Like, a lot of like, here's a shot, here's a shot, here's a shot. Even in like a three-way conversation between three people, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but that always throws me off. And it's the exact same editing style as The Predator. And I literally hated that movie. I don't know if... I have ever experienced a movie that made me question so much, like, I know Hellboy is a comic, and I know this will probably please comic fans of Hellboy, but I'm wondering, I would have loved to have sat with a Hellboy comic fan, somebody in the theater that really enjoys the Hellboy, and tell me after the credits roll, is this a good adaptation to the comics to the screen, and is the original comics this Brutal and violent, gory. I am not a hater of gore and violence. Like, it can be cool. I will give Hellboy this. It had great action sequences. Scenes where Hellboy is fighting big things. We've seen it in the trailers. It's really, really fun to watch. Those are the moments it's like, yeah, yeah this is what I'm here for. You know, the big, brutal like crazy kind of out there fantasy violence because it's a movie to go in and shut your brain off but even when i was shutting my brain off there was just things that was just like slapping itself on top of that like yeah but here's this cheesy moment here's this cheesy moment there's actually a scene and i'm gonna take it out of a scene from small soldiers i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but um i'll just show you there will be no mercy. <laughs> I won't spoil where and why, but an eye hanging out of someone's face? That actually happened, and that's the kind of movie you're watching. Very gross imagery in some moments, and some of it was like very beautiful, very kind of horror, like psychological visuals that I enjoyed. Like there's a scene like with Hellboy in like a forest, and like there's this house, and I won't go into spoilers because it's not a spoiler review, but that was some really cool imagery, and that whole sequence was really nice because um, it extends itself. It took its time to build. Um, the movie's just kind of like moves fast in the beginning and then starts to slow way down, which is a big problem. Your pacing should not be like chop, 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 and then we just get all the all the goodies in the middle and then it just goes back to that. I don't know, it's just, the pacing is off the charts bad. Back to what I was saying about the comics though. So I really wanna know. I really wanna know, leave me in the comments guys. If you're a Hellboy comic reader, if you have enjoyed the comics, any, any of the Hellboy comics, I don't know any of them, I don't know who they're by or anything. I just know that they exist. Are they this brutal? Are they this intense? Cause I went in knowing this movie's rated R. Because it is. Don't take your kids to this, folks. Do not do that. I didn't realize watching it 
until it started happening in front of my eyes how insanely nightmarish gore fest it really is. I thought going in, yeah, it's going to be some cool visuals rated R and it might get kind of gross, but not on this level. This is probably the most horrifying visuals I've seen in a movie in a while. And I'm not saying that's a problem, but maybe it overdid it a few times because I feel like what they're doing, the director was doing, is just making a Hellboy movie that's rated R just to do it, just to make it happen, just to throw in this gross out. Some of it was like really, actually, it's it's been a while since I've seen a like scene, like ugh, like a gross out scene that actually kind of made me like almost ugh, like gag a little bit. Like that, it only really takes a lot for that to happen, and that happened a couple times in this movie. Is that a bad thing? I don't really know. I just know that it didn't help that the story and everything was already bad, so you throw that in there into the mix of the big blender, the gore blender that this is. It was just gore inside of a bad movie. So, eh. Bloodfest, the gore, not all of it was bad. There's some great action sequences. Hellboy fighting big things, like I said, is amazing to watch. David Harbour embodies Hellboy. I mean, look at that face. Just look at that face. He's perfect for Hellboy. Look at the way he he has the same like Ron Perlman indentioned face. Like he's perfect for Hellboy and that everything, the whole costume, the whole getup looked amazing. He played Hellboy so well. He's the best part of this entire movie. It's just one of those things where it's like a great actor trying really hard in a just okay kind of almost b-movie level movie that should have been better i'll put on screen what the name of the character is the were cheetah the guy that can turn into like a bit it's like i thought he was gonna turn into a werewolf but i forgot he's like a cheetah really cool character i loved that moment i'm a sucker for like werewolves so like whenever he was turning into that i was like okay this is hype that fight at the end is pretty freaking great Oh, and let's not even talk about, you know, like, Hellboy becoming Hellboy with the fiery crown and the big horns. Like, I wanted him to stay that way for the rest and into the sequel because it looks it looks awesome. And David Harbour just makes that look epic. He's, he's got, he's all, he's built for the role. Like, he got all, he, I don't know if he got, if he worked out and got bigger or not. I think that's just David Harbour already, like, stoic and ready to go. Mia Djokovic, okay, villain. I think she just wanted a paycheck. Was Hellboy all bad? No, but it definitely just had little bits sprinkled in that I enjoyed, and some of the horrific stuff and some of the things can be cool, because there's a certain level with me, like, horrific scenes and, like, illusion, like, I don't know, like, a bunch of, like, horrifying things can be cool, cool, if done right. Um, but some of it just didn't hit. None of the humor, by the way, hit for me. None of the dialogue was like, hardly any of it was actually really any good. There is actually a line in here where somebody says like, well, let's save it for the sequel or something like that. Like it just re read that line of like, eh, I don't, it just didn't work for me. But I wanted to love it. I wanted to go in just being like, this is, I wanted to come out and review it for you guys and be like, Hellboy was actually, was amazing. Like it was really, really awesome. Um, but I can definitely tell you that even though I said that I won't directly compare to the originals, but I will say what is better and what is not, those two make this look like plum garbage because those two are so much better, which makes me wish that they could have made a Hellboy 3, but it just wasn't meant to be. What did you guys think of Hellboy? I will score it for you and you can let me know. This is gonna sound really harsh, but I gave it a lot of thought. I think that I would give Hellboy 2019 on a scale of one to 100, a solid 48. Guys, go see Shazam instead. Like Shazam is freaking fantastic. Like I actually really, while watching this was like, I could have been watching Shazam again, because Shazam's, like, amazing. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you thought of Hellboy, and if you're looking for, like, a review to tell you to want to see it or not, I wouldn't even worry about this one, but uh, take that with a grain of salt. If you're a Hellboy fan, go see it and come back and tell me, like, what you thought of the adaptation. Does this stay true to the comics? Is the big rated R gore fest, like, the way it should be? Or is it more, like, supposed to be more like the Ron Perlman stuff? Um... 
Let me know, guys. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff, guys. And you beautiful people seeing me in the next one. Drive out and peace out.